Good morning, everyone. And boy, do I mean morning. It's 4 a.m. here. I went to bed last night about 8.15. I was just worn out, mentally, physically worn out. I know y'all know what that's like. But then I got up at 3 a.m. So here I am. <laughs> I'm in my robe. I really dressed up for y'all this morning. No, no makeup, no red lipstick. I've been just sitting around, relaxing a little bit before I get ready and start my day. First of all, I'd like to say that I hope y'all will pray for the people out in California going through those fires out there. It's a terrible thing not knowing uh, when they evacuate their homes if if they'll go back to the way it was. And I know we have some lovely ladies here in this community who live in California. Right off the top of my head, I'm thinking of Mary Ann and Debbie and, and the incredible Dexter dog out there in California. I know there's more, y'all. I Like I say, it's 4 a.m. and I'm not thinking so well, but I want y'all to know you're in my prayers. And I'm sure you're in the prayers of many. And I pray for your safety. So, you know, there's a saying, if one thing had been different in the past, everything would be different today. I remember that saying from many, many years ago, and I truly believe that. Case in point, I had gone to the bank one day and through the drive through window, and as I was exiting the drive through window, my phone started to ring. And so I pulled over in the driveway to answer the phone because I don't talk on the phone when I'm driving. I just do not. Well, I wasn't on that call, but just maybe 30 seconds is all it was. And then I proceeded on out into the road and got onto the highway. Well, I came upon a wreck that it happened just seconds, seriously seconds before. And so that made me think, had that phone call not occurred on my cell phone, had I not pulled over to answer that call, had I got onto the highway and started seconds before I did, would that person in that wreck have been me? It's sure possible, isn't it? So we never know if one thing had been changed in the past, would that affect what's going on today and in the future? You know, I met my husband in 1967. I was going to college. Now, he had called me before then and asked me out on a date, and I don't remember him from high school at all. I went to a huge high school, and I never met him there, never saw him. So, he called me, and because I never knew who he was in the first place, I quickly looked him up in the annual, <laughs> and he did not look like somebody that I would be attracted to in the least, and I politely declined to go out with him. I, I really did. I, I wasn't mean about it at all. I just said, no, thank you, no. But anyway, so when I went to college, it was a junior, small junior college, not too far from the town I lived in. I had to cross the street one day to go from one part of the campus to the other part of the campus. And instead of going down to the to the light and crossing in the in the crosswalk, I decided I was gonna run across the street right quick. Well back then we had to wear pantyhose. No, no, not pantyhose, excuse me. We had to wear hose because they didn't have pantyhose. And y'all remember those hose where you, you buy them and they 
there's one for each leg, and you have to wear this awful garter belt to hold them up. Well, I had big old knees back then. I, I still do, but I've always had big knees. And I bought cheap pantyhose from this place called Gibson's. They were super cheap. And because of that and my, my big knees, my thick knees, they didn't come up very high, the tops of them, above my knees. And then you had to attach them with that awful garter belt. So when I was running across the street to get to the other part of the campus, my hose and my shoes <laughs> were cheap and slick and they made me fall. I know they did because I came right out of my shoes and I fell in the middle of the road and there I am <laughs> laying in the middle of the road like some walrus, you know. So all of a sudden there was this guy beside me and he was out there to help me up and it was the guy who had called me and asked me to go out with him and I turned him down. Well, he helped me to the other side of the road. And as they say, the rest is history. <laughs> I, we started talking, we started dating, and we got married in 1967. Well, he turned out to be an abusive husband. He was mentally, emotionally, and physically abusive. So I was married to him in like two weeks, being seven years, and I divorced him. And I moved back home. So I had two little children by that time. I had a four-year-old and a one-year-old. And I hadn't done much work in my life. I did a little typing job when I was in high school typing labels for a guy. I didn't know how to do a whole lot. And I had to go to work. I had to look for a job. I had these two children I had to support. And back then, my child support was a lousy $125 a month, and that's for both kids, not for each one, both kiddos. So I found a job in a men's clothing store, and I worked in the office and I did accounts receivable. I don't think I could do that kind of stuff now at all, but I loved that job. I really did. But every Wednesday night, a group of my friends would all get together and we would go out to this supper club, is what they called it then. It had a, you could, you could order food there and they had drinks there and they had a live band and a wonderful dance floor and I absolutely loved to dance. So every Wednesday night, we'd all go out and we'd reserve a table and we'd get together and have a good time and dance and lots of people would come and ask me to dance. I, I just loved it. I had a grand time. I've always loved to dance. And one night, a gentleman came up to me and asked me to dance. And when I looked up at him, I'm telling you, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. He was the most handsome man I'd ever seen in my life. Oh, my goodness. Couldn't believe my luck. So, again, the rest is history. I married that man two years later. We were together 42 years. I fulfill my vows till death do us part. But if that one thing had been different in the past, if I hadn't bought cheap pantyhose, if I had crossed at the crosswalk, if I had married an abusive man and divorced him, if I hadn't gone to that supper club that night, and if that gentleman that came and asked me to dance hadn't gone either, maybe everything would be different today. So it's not always bad change, is it? Sometimes it works out for the best, and this time it did, because I had 42 long, incredibly wonderful years with the love of my life. That's my story today. We're going to have thunderstorms.
So I hope you all have a great day and hope God is good to you. Bye-bye. See you soon.